Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition. So, in the last episode, uh, we were doing a bunch of side quests and, uh, went shopping. That's, uh, we did a block puzzle inside of a shop mart. That's literally it. And now we're heading in here to get some more gas. Uh... Okay. Oh. I've never seen you here before. You in town to see some sights? Gina the Rose, Jack's wife. All right. What's your name? I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI special agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. FBI? Wow, how cool. And, oh, I like that scar. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? Ugh. I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a more simple conversation. Simple? Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Fair enough. Hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, people really like my service. They like it when I put it in and they like it when I pull it out. Do you like the way I pump it? Oh my. <laughs> I guess I'll just buy gas? Um. Oh my. <laughs> That's not me saying it. She said it. She meant it that way. Um. I'm just gonna buy some gas. Just thrust it in there. Five dollars a gallon? Wow. I'm gonna wash my car. Alright. I don't see how that repairs my car any. Yeah, I see that she's a side quest. The stream chat's telling me that. Apparently, if I get her as my person to talk to six times, something will happen. So, I guess all I have to do is drive away from here and drive back in. Well, oops. Let's try to drive back in there. Got her again. How well, lucky for me. I'm just gonna talk to her this time. Uh huh. Oh my. Seriously, everything she says is just a sexual innuendo. It's not just me, I swear. All right, let's see if we can get her a third time in a row. Or are we gonna meet her husband? Yeah, we met her husband. You from out of town? I ain't seen you here before. Jack the Raging Bull, gasoline stand owner. I'm that's, Francis that's York cool Morgan, name. FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up! At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. <laughs> Shut it! If you're a customer, act like one. And shut the mouth. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna talk with you anyway. Huh, you want in from the oh, then bring me a Ben Franklin or two. I have to pay him in. Alright. Info gathering bonus plus $13 just for talking to him. Yay.
Oh, hey, got her another time. Uh-huh. Hey there. Talk to you? Seriously. Just the same sexual innuendos over and over again. Drive out of here. And... Back into here. Over and over again. There we go. Got her another time. I think that this is our fifth time getting her. No, fourth? Fourth? Uh huh. Talk to you. Nine to conversation. Tell me to fill her up, etc., etc. Let's see, is this her fifth or sixth time? Uh huh. Hey there. Alright, well, that was our fifth time. Let's do it once more. Or hopefully, once more. Hopefully, we don't get Jack the Raging Bull because he's kind of mean. Oh, we got her again. Cool. Uh huh. Hey there. Um, I thought that was her sixth time. Thought so? Am I doing the math wrong, or? Oh, apparently I needed to pay for a wash each time. Well, I've got her like seven times, so I guess I'll just start paying for washes each time I go in there. Yep, yeah, apparently uh, I do have to pay for washes. My uh, Mr. Ryan guide was out of uh, out of the stream chat for a little while, so I was without him. How would I know to do this? That was probably like my fourth or fifth time doing it. So this is our last time, I guess. Unless you have to do it six times in a row. And then it's like two more times, I think. Hey, it's Jack. Seriously, why am I getting so many car washes? <laughs> who would do this? Who in their right mind would do this? But then again, who in their right mind talks for uh -huh. coffee? Oh. Here we are. This makes it your sixth time. <laughs> to thank you for being one of our best customers. Today, you get the special service. He hasn't asked me for money yet, Ryan. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> Washing cards is fun. Shiny. Mm, looks pretty. <laughs> she's not doing any cleaning, I'm just gonna say that. I don't think she's gotten okay. water onto the car thus far. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Come again. I'll give you the special service every time from now on. See ya. Oh. Zach, that was some aggressive car washing. She's crazy. Like a cat in heat. You may have liked it, but I never want to go through that again. <laughs> uh, it's funny because special services. 
You got a lollipop. What? Okay, extra for side missions, because... Side missions. Let's drive back in there trying to get Jack and give him a few Benjamins to loosen his lips. Not Jack. As the stream chat has said, she really likes to wash those cars. That is still not Jack. Thank you, Jack. Now let's, uh... <clears throat> Did you just spit on my car that your wife just watched? Jack, here's the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. Okay. Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? Uh, Have you got I'll dark? tell you another one when I see you again. <laughs> did he just... Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? Did he just do what I think he did? Give us a piece of information that I could not read that quickly? Whatever, I'm recording this so I can go back and look at it later. Something about a dart gun. Gina's sponge. Doggy! Doggy? Pay attention to me, doggy. I can shoot the dog. <laughs> Explosive barrels. So I'm assuming nothing bad happens if you kill the dog, but that's just kind of messed up. Oh god, it's the old yell at all over again. <sighs> okay. Stream chat told me I needed to see it. Okay, so I can't hit it. Good. That would have been so cruel and unusual. Agent Honor 5, 30, okay, let's go. Now, where were we going from here? Up to here in the turning left, okay. Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. You knew that, right, Zach? Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 1986, directed by John Hughes. Huh, that one was so 80s. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know, but you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink. St. Elmo's Fire and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerly. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Leigh and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron Crowe. How could that not be a great film? Do you remember, Zach? When that movie ended, the last words, the end, was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. 
I will say that I do not know when exactly he uh, learned about all this, but he knows a lot about these movies. I'm jealous because I don't know anything about the movies I watch. So, driving along, even with the speed boost this takes a while. And, Chow, I have seen The Breakfast Club. It's a really good movie. But the problem is that I don't know anything about movies that I watch. I've seen some good ones, but I've missed out on quite a few. And even the ones that I did see, I still don't know who directed them or who wrote them or anything. Thomas's biscuit. Biscuit baked by Thomas. Recovers life, hunger, and... I didn't see the other thing. <sighs> what do you want? Well, I have a bronze card, so... Well then, how rude. Wait, is it lagging for you guys on stream? Oh god. Uh, I'm not actually dropping any frames, but my bitrate went to hell there for a moment. Huh. Okay, well if you guys aren't having issues, well, it's not a problem. Hey there, Becky. <sighs> How about this, red dust? Where'd you get that? Quint's trailer. He's delivery man Q, isn't he? <sighs> you don't yes, have is. to hide it any longer. I'm on your side. Will you tell me everything you know? Yes, he's delivery man Q. But he's got nothing to do with Anna's death. So please just leave him alone, okay? I beg you. That all depends on what else you can tell me, Becky. His being delivery man Q doesn't prove he had nothing to do with Anna's murder. Is there any way to get him to make a statement about this? <sighs> okay. Just wait here. Give this to Quint and tell him... I can't accept it. Aww. Hmm? That's all I can do. Don't ask me for anything more. You'll get us both killed. Zack, I was hoping we'd get a little bit more out of her, but that's okay. We'll get more when we hand over the ring. Let's go give Mr. Delivery Man Q a visit and see what happens. Overman Q. Got another achievement. All those achievement bowls and engagement ring start. I wonder what I need to do. Ryan, could you please put it in the chat? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, it was red out there. Obviously, chat. Yep, that's exactly what I need to do. I need to put on the ring and just show it off on town. Just like walk down the street with a sway in my hips. Just a smile on my face. Yep. Just go up to Quint with the ring on and just show up and show him up and just say, I accept, like, let's be the most married. Also, vandalism penalty. Oops. I think uh York X Quint is my new OTP. Actually, no. York X Coffee is my new OTP. Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. Alright. And finally I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg himself, the grandfather of panic movies, set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. Jaws? I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. I think it's Jaws, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah? It's Jaws. 
The yeah. underwater camera work, accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. And Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. Yes, I do. It was directed by Jaws Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. Hmm? Sorry. Zach, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there, but you know we're here. Gotta sneak up to it. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, now. Just gotta barge in on Quint, show him the ring, and say, I am the most grateful. Hmm. Where did you get that? Becky gave it to me. She also told me to tell you that she can't accept it. Can't accept it? What does that mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Quint. I think she was extremely worried about you. I'm just guessing, but... She's been giving you the plants to make the red powder, hasn't she? Then oh, you rode your bike the... out of town. You went on a trip. And you sold the powder somehow. You bought that ring with the money. That's why she gave me the ring. She wants to stop you from making any more trips. She doesn't want you to get involved anymore with this. But I did all this for her. I started out delivering because I wanted the extra cash. But you know, things like this change over time. As you can see, her family is loaded, and I live in a trailer house. She's out of my league, you know? And so I... I wanted to be the kind of guy she could be with. Quint, you already are. You didn't need money for that. <laughs> Have things gone too far? Because of me? Not at all, Quint. You can do things over. You're still young. Can you hold off on arresting me just for a little while? I want to apologize to her. And promise her that I'll never carry that junk again. Just give me a little time, please? I'll turn myself in once I've talked to her, okay? Zack, what is he talking about? Huh? Why would I arrest an innocent youth such as yourself? Quint, I'm busy with a murder investigation here. We can talk about health food another time, okay? If you really want to confess, you could always try a church. What do you think, Zack? <laughs> it, it isn't much, but I want you to take this. As a thank you gift. I got a wrench. All right. Is that a weapon? Zach, another young life saved. Good job. Engagement ring completed. Welp. Quint, you make a lot of assumptions. And I say you're a good kid. I like you. Now, I think I'm going to head over to the uh, thing right here. I'm gonna head over to the uh, Twilly. Tw 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 what is the name of it? What's the name of this place? Swery? I don't know. It's the person who made the game. Well, directed the game, right? That's what it's named after. The Swery 65. Haha. -ha. Found a thing. Two minutes left until it's 6 p.m., which is apparently when I can do a. Uh, side quest inside of there. Well, it opens up at 6, apparently, so I can do side quest inside there. Alright, it's open. Now I can head inside. High quality beef. Satisfy a large amount of your hunger. Well, time to play darts. You get a price each time you choose a high score. You have to pay a game fee of $50 to play. Uh, continue rule explanation. You can fire three darts per round. Your score is the total of eight rounds. That means you get to shoot 24 darts. 
See those uh, numbers on the outside the rim of the board? That's how many points you get when you hit those areas of the board. However, an outside double wind is worth double points, and on an inside triple wind is worth triple points. The bullseye is worth 50 points. So the most points you can get with one dart is 60 on the 20 point triple wind. Did you get all that, all that or do you want me to go through it again? Uh, no. Uh, apparently I need to get a high score. If you want to play darts, you need a dart gun. Okay. Hey, Richard. Hey! Mick Jagger's love affair with one of the beauties is well documented, so you're the romantic one. All men are romantic, you know? Even you, I'm sure. Ask yourself seriously. By the way, did you see Quint's menu, New York? His little, his menu's a little different from mine. Just adds a little personality to the place, right? You pick whichever of men, you pick whichever of you want to serve you. I, I'm confused. All right, I can get a dart gun. Sure, it's gonna cost me 500 just to play this game. I apparently have too much stuff on me. Great. All right. Um, let's eat a lollipop. Put away some items as well. I think. Uh, whatever. I'll f I'd probably just have to be at a box to do that. Hey! Buy a dart gun. Alright. Is there an item box in here, please? Send this to the toolbox. Okay, toolbox it, because, you know, why not? And here's the toolbox to, you know, search. Put items away. Uh, weapons to begin with. Uh, I'm gonna put away all the ammo. This... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna use this knife anytime soon. Okay, apparently I need to keep the wrench. Oh, the wrench is an infinite ammo. Alright, I'm keeping that then. I'm actually just gonna put away this uh, thing. It's crap. Put this way, put this way. As with this. I need the cheese on me. Yeah, I'm hoping that's everything that I'm not gonna have to get back in there later. Hey! Okay, now, dart gun. That thing's ridiculous and I love it. Play some darts. Ah, 
Aha, bullseye. Bullseye. There we go. Got it. See, this isn't bad. Got it again. Should I even go for those, though? Because just by the definition, I mean... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep focusing on the bullseye unless it's something like on the 20 or something. 13, 18 would be 15. Triple. Oh, baby, a triple. 270. Oh. Wow. What? I think it's times 15. Triple times 5. Yeah, it's times 15 because it's triple and 5. I think because it's lighting up, it's times five, and because it's the inner ring, it's times three. I wonder if that's enough. Oh, that's not even enough for the high score. Well, I know now. Times ten. What? Okay, I beat the high score. Never mind. I didn't need to do it, guys. I'm fine. I'm perfect. Richard Dunn, Francis York Morgan. Oh man, that hasn't happened for a while. Top rank. Did I do something bad? Oh yeah, bad for me. But good for you, lucky son of a gun. I'm not sure that I follow you. You just broke the record I set a few years ago. That's so. Hey man, show a little more excitement, will ya? Are all FBI agents as stuffy as you? Anyway, I had no idea you were so good at darts. When did you start playing? I started when I came to this town. Since you came to Greenvale? You're kidding, right? The thing about darts, you know, is that it's 20% technique, and the remaining 80% is all in the head. You need a powerful mind that's able to concentrate on of time. You see, humans can only concentrate on one thing for so long, so you have to really stay focused and concentrate on the moment you release the dart. You must have a very powerful mind. You went through mental training at Quantico. Hey, there's your prize. What's this for? For getting the highest score. You won't see many of these around. Take good care of it. A bag that will hold more weapons. Oh, oh that would have been useful a couple of minutes ago. Top rank. Well, that was my first time playing. 
Yep. Quit. <laughs> well, that was my first attempt at that, and I already succeeded, so fantastic. Alright, so with that, I'm gonna sw do a little transition here. So guys, next time, let's play Deadly Premonition. We're gonna be moving on to more side quests. There's like two left, and then we're moving on with the story. So don't worry, it won't be that long. Maybe next episode, uh, probably two episodes from now is when real story happens. I know, lovely characters and all, but we do eventually have to get back to the story. So, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.